Welcome back. It is 940. During the pandemic, a 17 year old noticed a pattern of news reports that black Americans had higher rates of serious COVID cases. So he decided to look into it and he developed a theory that higher instances of sickle cell anemia in the black community were playing a role. With the help of researchers from North Shore University Health System, they realized his theory was valid. We are joined by that team, Joel Holzheiser and researcher Jen Feng Su. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for joining me. Great to be here. Okay, Joe, this is incredible. Give me a little background of why you decided to pursue this. Um, yeah, so last summer, a uh, family friend, um, Clay Struve and I, were discussing why the blacks were dying at a disproportionate rate on the U.S. naval and cruise ships. And so I kind of just took up the research on this, and I was focused on how the um, the effects of, of COVID were really similar to the triggers of a sickle cell crisis. And I also looked at this U.S. Army study detailing exertion-related deaths and that the eightfold increase from 18 to 28 year olds, that age versus death correlation was really similar to the COVID patients. And so this was kind of the evidence I approached North Shore with. And I'm really grateful that they were willing to listen to this out of the box idea from a high school kid. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. You're absolutely right about that. So you reach out to North Shore and Jian Feng, this is where you come in. Tell me what happened next. Yeah, it was a pleasant kind of surprise for a high school student <laughs> brought up a such an important and timely question at that time, the COVID period. And while I was very kind of uh, impressed by his kind of question, but I'm also, I was also very excited because his question is very consistent with our interest at North Shore for precision medicine. And uh, at North Shore, we're interested in number one, assessing genetic basis for common disease like COVID. Okay. And we're either taking this thing to the clinic, including primary care clinic. And uh, we are very interested in addressing disparity. This issue about African American is a very important issue. And finally, we are interested in helping community, particularly training students. So it's a perfect story, perfect project for us to do. I so love we it. are just and I love that you guys didn't blow off this high school kid, okay? This study was published in this prestigious medical journal. Joe, how does that make you feel? And and I'm curious, what kind of background do you have that kind of got you interested in this? Um, yeah, I mean, getting published was, it was, I mean, it was an unbelievable experience, I think. I've always loved math, I think. It's really just, I've always been curious. And if I get the opportunity to like, help people and use my math skills to help people that's really how i first got into this and that was um in my school i was really lucky my school gave me the opportunity to accelerate my math journey and so that was that was that was very helpful as well wow it's this is almost like walking on the moon what's your next move going to be ah <laughs> uh, you know um i really we've been i continued work there this summer um and we're it's I've been lucky enough to get the opportunity to lead my own solo project and along with Dr. Zhu's team. Which is um, just amazing, just amazing to me. I say back to Dr. Zhu then, what kind of difference is this going to help uh, and make in people who have sickle cell disease? Yeah, it's very important because even though uh, sickle cell disease, people are aware of sickle cell disease, which much, much rare sickle cell trait is very common. It's 8% in African American. And mm -hmm. most importantly, most people are not aware of this, of this condition. So knowing this condition actually increases the risk for COVID, particularly uh, deaths from COVID, as well as the, the, the result from this, uh, Joe mentioned his summer project, we actually found out a sickle cell tree also increased risk for diabetes, oh. hypertension, and the diabetes related uh, those comorbidity and the complication and, and those are actually very important for sure. for the general health of africa wow this is amazing what a great story thank you to both of you for sharing it with me uh joe uh what what grade are you going into next are you heading off to college soon i'm going into senior year high wow school. senior year well i have a feeling a lot of schools are wanting to get you in place so congratulations to you and dr sue what a fun story to share we needed something like this today thanks for your time
Thank you so much. Have a great day.